Uh, uh, it's cold uh, here in New Hampshire. Boy, I can't wait till winter comes. Uh, it must be so nice and warm down in the island. Uh, it's cold. It's this cold. is the warmest I've been all day. Yes, thank goodness we have three blankets on us. Billy, get down. Okay, you guys. You guys say hi to Grandma and Grandpa. Say hi to Grandma and Grandpa. Hi. Say hi. Hi, Grandma and Grandpa. Um, this is our Christmas present to you. Uh, we decided that since we can't be with you on Christmas, that we would have our friend Mark Tedeschi, who's here with his son Hi, Mikey, Mikey and Lindsay. You guys want to come uh, in the camera? For come a on, Mark, is come introduce yourself. So, Hi, Daddy, and I can be with right you. Okay. Oh, well, well uh, anyway, this is our Mikey, Christmas present. We're uh, we're gonna be with you one Mikey, way or the other, even no if we Mikey. have to uh, do a movie Mikey. camera from icy cold New Hampshire. So. Well, yesterday it was 50 degrees and we had a Caribbean high, and today it's 20 degrees. I feel like Mr. Ryan. Fun for us, anyway. We're going to um, give you a tour of the house and show you some, some time with you, and, um, and then we're going to go outside and show you some things that we've been doing outside. Oh, this is Gilly. This is our new dog. Who's had two operations so far. Yes, we have many stories to tell about Gilly. Go ahead, tell a story about Gilly. Uh, Gilly has been eating our stuffed furniture and she ended up having a blocked digestive system and she had to be operated on and have foam surgically removed from her digestive system. $120. <laughs> Keep going. And then recently we planned on having her fixed and we had to push the date up for her to be fixed because she had ingested porcupine quills. And so at the same time that she was fixed, she had two porcupine quills re removed from her. She, what happened was that she ate the porcupine quills and they went through her throat, through her esophagus, into the flesh of her neck. And what did we? I'm talking to Yeah, go ahead. What did you say? Cake, Oh, and cake? Yeah. <laughs> cake. <laughs> Debbie likes sweet. What Debbie. did you want to say, Jeremiah? And I and I like you and cheese and I, and my, I color my, Buddy my puppy. To poop. You like the color of your puppy? I like the color of oh. my puppy. And she and she uh, and I love her and she's very. And she's well, very tell Grandma and Grandpa what her real name, is, her full name. Gilly girl. <laughs> Oh, well. well, we thought it was Gilead, as in bomb of Gilead. Bomb of Gilead, which is a tree that grows in the forest nearby. Um, well, so, anyway, it's not really this cold out, so why don't we get some activity Not going? this cold in. Anyway. Cold in. It's very cold out, but not this cold in. Um, this cameraman here. This is our cameraman, Mike Tedeschi. His daughter, Lenny. His son, Michael. And his wife, Kim, who is in abstentia down at the Nutcracker Suite in Boston. Who's and my best friend. And, Mom, you've met all these people before. And yeah. also Christmas shopping, I believe. Yeah, and, uh, Mark has been and kind and enough to come over here cake. and do most of the filming, and also not it's his camera here. that we're using. So I hand it back. Hand <laughs> back. Like this uh, new toy that I bought at the store. <laughs> What's his name, Jeremiah? Lawrence Taylor. Lawrence Taylor, and he's a and he's a football player, and he's on the blue team. Hold him right up so they can see. And I play, I play hockey, and I got, my mom and dad got me new skates, and I can skate better than I thought I could with a new skate. Tell them what position you play in hockey. To the dog. Defense. 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 <laughs> and Do you want to tell them about anything about school? No. That's it. <laughs> Arlene, you want to say anything to Grandma and Grandpa? What do you want to say? We got new presents from, from uh, my mommy. Gilly. We got new, we got new presents today for Christmas, right? Yeah. And you want to say anything about who's your teacher at school? Come here, Dodge. Uh, some of our kids, mm -hmm. like Lenny's mommy. Yeah. And some are Sally. Yeah. And some are. Uh, yeah. What did Subi have in school the other day? Uh, yes. 
he, he, she had Tucker. He, 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 he's a nice boy today. Who is Tucker? What is Tucker? Is Tucker a person? No. What is Tucker? He, she, she's a dog. Oh. Dog. Eh, eh, and when Tucker, Tucker bites, he doesn't like anybody that, that, he, he like some, some, some of, of the people don't like Tucker. What do you want for Christmas, Arlie? Uh, oh. Two lollipops that, that I like. I like a pink one. I, I like a pink lollipop. And uh, I like a purple lollipop. And, and all of the kinds I like is yum, yummy purple. purple. What's your pet? Okay, What's your Danny, what do you want for Christmas? Blue lollipop with pink? Yeah. Okay, I watch. Boys, don't do that right now, okay? Go ahead. Why? Uh, it's Arlie's turn. I want I wanted blue lollipops with like Deborah had one of them. And, and Deborah didn't have pink lollipops today. Uh, okay. Alright, now it's Debbie's turn, Arlie, so shh, okay? Alright, Debbie, what do you want? What do you want to say to Grandma and Grandpa? I have a pink white top, one there. Oh, I have to tell who I have. And, 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 and blue. And blue. And purple. Who's your teacher at school? Uh, I, I love a purple white. Who's uh, your teacher at uh, school? Uh, uh, Is it Sally? Sally's in your group. Do you want to, Mark, can we just walk over there and show some of the par the paintings the kids did on the I mean, refrigerator? I know. Mean, Grandpa, the pictures that you did on the refrigerator. Uh, I Here's one. I mean, paint with this. We paint that for Jeremiah. Yeah. And Jeremiah has a painting that he did it. That's This one. It has it has a red, black, red, and yellow. And plus it has your name on it, right kid? Yeah, and Jeremiah wrote his own name, but you know he can do that. Okay, um, shall we show Mom and Dad some of... Have they seen your nativity scene before? Oh, I don't know. And this is, this is my nativity scene. It's a donkey, sheep, you see the rest, I can't see the rest. Who's this? Baby Jesus. Who's that? Remember? The Joseph. Daddy. Yeah, the daddy. Uh. And this is the... We had a painting that Debbie entitled That's Rainbows at Night, but what I guess we've lost that one. Yeah. Um, should we show them some of the paintings I did? Yeah. This is um my latest painting. It's a still life of a bottle that was a um, prescription bottle for whiskey that we found in the house in Farmington. And this is the silver um jersey pitcher that came from Granny's house. And, um, and you can it's just the Thanksgiving um, still life that I put together. I hope you can get the color in it, but it, it's my last painting, and so it shows a lot more maturity than my other paintings. Would you not say? Yeah, you're definitely in your mature stage now. Yes, I'm in my mature stage. So, this is one painting. As we go through the house and there's other paintings around, I'll point them out to you, I'm sure. Okay. This is our wood stove, you know, which we continue to love, but there's one particular feature of it that we've added since you were here last, and Frank, I know you in particular will appreciate this. And here's, by the way, this is what I wanted to tell you, but here's Allison's collection of cows, which she loves and I like too. But what I wanted to show you was this, the damper that we've added to the stove pipe. Yay! <laughs> which is wide open now because it's so cold out. Um... Let's see, is there anything else in this room that we want to... Um, you might recognize this painting. It's what the kids, who the kids call Grandma Perrin. Um, the paintings came to me from Sarah because she didn't have room in her tiny little place for them, and we barely have room for them here. Um, the paintings were both damaged in shipment, however, and they are very dirty. So what we're going to do is after... Um, I'm, I graduate and we have the extra income. We're going to take these paintings down to Boston, have them cleaned and 
refinished and reframed. And um, I don't think Mama suggested that we cut them off here, but when you look closely, the paintings are so dirty, there's a lot of um, detail in here that's lost in the dirt. So we're going to have these cleaned up, send them to Boston, and um, I think it will be something that we will be happy we've done forever after we do it. But I think the initial cost is going to be probably the thing that holds us up a little bit. Um, the thing that I'm most impressed of, and I love these pictures, these paintings in our room, is that this woman's eyes are very much like that your eyes, Daddy. And, um, and Grandpa Perrin has very much your, your forehead and your, uh, and your nose. Can you see that okay, Mark? Is that better? Anyway, here they are. And uh, the kids aren't allowed in this room uh, because mostly because we need a private spot, but also because we don't want any damage to occur to these precious paintings. Well, we're here. Oh, yeah. Here's Jeremiah's two books, which he is very proud of. This one has been chewed on by Gilly, but this one is about mom and dad, a duck, love, a giraffe, an alligator, a puppy, and a fish. The new way of doing this, um, learning how to write and read, is to have the kids spell out as closely as they can using their phonetics. So these words include a lot of, the letters include a lot of the sounds of the word. This one was just pictures. This one is a story. Here we have the daddy dinosaur, the baby dinosaur. See, and dinosaurs up here. Then we have daddy dinosaur. What, laying an egg? No, it gets meat. M oh, it gets meat. I should have known that. And now what happens? The baby dinosaur stole the meat, and so the daddy dinosaur gets the meat back when the baby dinosaur is sleeping. The Only end. a mother could know, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, shall we go downstairs to our new bathroom? Sure. Okay, anything else in here? No. Okay, we'll go downstairs to our new bathroom. You on now? It's a view out our bedroom window. You can see a couple of brush piles down there. I've been thinning. Also, uh, some of the taller trees out this way are block our neighbor's view, so we've been cutting for that reason as well. That's our knoll across there. Mark has done a lot of work. Come on, dog. Stop it. Maybe cut some more out this way, but I don't think we'll ever clear cut it. Although we are have considered building a barn on this slope. Uh, this is our new bathroom, complete with shower and stuff. Um, Mom, you've taken showers here, but um, Daddy, you've never seen this room. It has matching pink accoutrements <laughs> and um, Mom, like you, Mom. medicine cabinet. <laughs> and this is our new bathroom. We're very pleased to oh, have it. Open up, Mom. Okay. Next room. We'll go into your room next. This is my room, and this is my bed. And Show I made Zuba. my bed. Show me your And I made this bed over by myself. Here, turn around and let us see your face. And this is one of my zoo books. You know, Grandma and Grandpa gave you those the first time. Yeah, and... And you love them, don't you? Yes, I love them a lot. Um, do you want to show Grandma and Grandpa the... And this is my tiger book. Show Grandma and Grandpa the. Pretty second, pretty second. And this hawk book, I like. I like all these books. <laughs> Shark book. I like that book. Sharks can go 40 miles an hour, can't they? And sharks can go 40 miles an hour. And some kind of fish I don't know what kind. That's okay. We don't need to see the rest, honey. Show Show Grandma and Grandpa the other thing that we want to show. There's one more. And. Dinosaur book. Who wanna read it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and this is the horse you gave me, and and it accidentally broke. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> and, and I don't know who broke him. Oh, now I know. 
the girls broke it and I have so fun with it. And the grandpa's chains is still broken, but we can't fix it. And there's another thing. And I got letters and I got this picture that goes with this man here that we bought. That you bought with your allowance money. Yeah. And this is a man, but when he had a beard. Okay. That's good, Jeremiah. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Where's your bed, Arlie? Oh, yeah. Where's your bed, Debbie? Hey, can you girls show Grandma and Grandpa how you know the birds? Are you what, what bird is this? Flicker, right? Okay. What's this one? This is Judy. Chickadee. <laughs> right? What do chickadees say? What do chickadees say? Oh, I don't know. They say chickadee dee dee dee. Ah! What's this one? A blue jay. A blue jay. Uh huh. What's this one? A blackbird. A red winged blackbird. What's this one? I don't know. A wobo. A barn swallow. What's that one up there? Yellow warbler. Yellow warbler. Yellow warbler. <laughs> like this guy's gonna hurt. Okay, let's go on then. Let's go again, Hey, have you started it off? No, we started. This is our deck. Mark built this um, last spring. Mom saw it when she was here. When you were here, Mom. But um, I don't. Daddy obviously has never seen it. It's made out of pressure treated wood, which is, um, Jeremiah said, from the pressure tree that grows in Africa. <laughs> and, uh, and we have gotten a lot of pleasure out of this deck. Uh, south is that way, east is that way, so we get good sunshine. And, uh, and it's been wonderful. We have lots of barbecues and lots of parties and fun on the deck. So, and it's been really good. You notice the hammock for, uh, the lazy man of the house. <laughs> That's where I spend my quality time. <laughs> so uh, after he built the deck, he uh, he had seven days of rest. <laughs> so shall we continue our tour? Well, I will ask Mark to just give him a pan of our view. Oh yeah, Mark's been clearing of um, the wood, the trees to get our view, and we have a beautiful view, and we're very happy here. So, Mark, we were thinking of walking around this way. We have limited time with this machine because it's so cold out. We expect it's start going to get us into slow motion here. Either the camera or will get into <laughs> slow motion. What's Pete doing? Uh -huh. are, are we on? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I need a red this light or way. something. To tell us. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Put your coat. Allison's retaining wall here. Yes. It's pretty nice. A good home for rodents. It's superior to the second wall you see, <laughs> only that it's better built, but not in the uh, Allison dimension. wanted to dismantle the wall that I had built to use the rocks for her wall. And you can understand why. <laughs> I mean, when you're building a beautiful quality wall, about having some uh, small-time farm animals and what we're thinking of is sheep and that we might get a, a movable electric fence so that we could have a small pasture that we can move around and encourage them to eat the pucker brush and the poison ivy. I don't know if it works that way but that's what we'd like. It's mostly for 4-H type things and just for the kids to have some uh, some experience with animals. We're not real too really too keen on on slaughtering and all that. I think we will be getting chickens though and maybe some turkeys. But anyway, shall we? Sure. We do have a pretty significant poison ivy problem, so if we could come up with a way to reduce that, that would be nice. We don't really want to get goats because they're so hard to pasture and we've got finicky neighbors. So this is a Mark Stonewall. 
stand in front of the one bad spot here. Well, it gives us, uh, you know, they always put a hammer in front of the uh, archaeological <laughs> dig. That's for, right. <laughs> that is... So I collected I these rocks from, of course, it, in the beginning it was from as close by as possible, but in the end it was going down to the brook to get them. And going down to Concord. And it took about eight months, uh, eight months to build this. Every time I turned around, Mark had a rock under his arm. <laughs> Shall we walk? Mark, can you give the dimension of it kind of like wrap it around? I don't know if you ever saw it, but originally the house was built on these pressure treated posts that now support the deck. So building the deck was fairly easy. The hard part was done for us. Mom and Dad have been here since we had the addition done. I mean, yeah. Daddy has anyway. Because I remember having taking a picture of Daddy in the kitchen. Is he coming, Bernie? Oh, Mark, can I just show my folks the rose bushes? Yeah. This is a rose bush here, and there's one there, and there's one down here. And these rose bushes have a little story that I'll be brief on. When um, my birthday last year, my mother-in-law gave me a check, so I went out and I bought two rose bushes to plant them here. Mark had also gone out and bought me a rose bush for my birthday, which is that one. And then Jeremiah gave me a rose, and a friend of mine gave me two roses, and then Mark gave me another rose. A so cut rose. You a mean. cut rose, yeah. right? Cut roses. So I had three rose bushes and almost six roses, <laughs> cut roses, for my birthday. So it was a rosy occasion. <laughs> Next year, we have more we want to do to the deck, including uh, uh, skirting. So next year, I'll finish the bracing. You can see I've started that. Put some skirting underneath the deck. And another set of stairs yet to build also. Yeah. OK, shall we? <laughs> so, do you have any jokes to tell Mom and Dad while we walk over to our garage thing? Well, the only one I've heard from you is a science fiction joke. You've probably already heard that. I don't know. Well, tell them. I'll tell well, you the Tell them as we walk. Yeah, I'll tell you the statistician joke. You may have heard it. It's there were uh, there was a statistician and a friend, and one day the friend was waiting in the airport in line to, to board a plane and he happened to see the statistician and the statistician was obviously agitated and the friend said what's the matter and the statistician said well I've uh, researched the probability of there being a bomb on board and although the odds are very slim they may seem slim to you to me they're just I just can't live with uh, going on this plane I just can't do it uh, some months later the same situation a um, friend was waiting in line, and lo and behold, there was a statistician also waiting in line. And the statistician this time was uh, smiling and calm and happy. And the friend said, well, you know, what's the difference? Why are you waiting to get on this plane? And the statistician said, uh, well, I looked into it some more, and I found that the odds of there being two bombs on board are very, very slim. Uh, so slim that even I can feel comfortable with uh, going on the plane. So what I do is I carry one bomb with me. <laughs> Carry my own bomb. <laughs> We're planning to put an addition on the house. It will come out from, uh, well, how would you say? From the north end. There's Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. It'll come out from this, this wall right here, out toward the gas tank, and it'll be uh, moderately sizable. Lindsay, walk down the driveway, honey. We'll meet you at the, at the garage. I started building a garage uh, the end of this summer, and I took a week off to dig holes for it. And this, uh, I think the market shooting now is what we've got done so far. I've got the roof finished. 
have yet to do the siding and the doors and such. But as far as being useful, it's full of stuff. Just by coincidence, the, uh, the same color and style roofing shingles that we decided on for this barn was the same that the Tedeschi's used on their house, and we came up, came up one bundle of shingles short. And uh, the Tedeschi's had a few spare bundles, so we finished off the roof with bundles from their house. stairs to it that's uh, got some stuff in it, but I All think right. we'll be filling that up this winter. We're going to put some siding on it. Um, what did you say? Yeah. Oh, you just did? Yeah. Go ahead and have see the tractor? Part. We have the... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, they haven't seen the tractor. No, they haven't. The tractor is what we hope will uh, move our <laughs> snow for us. We have yet to test it out. I start the thing up every weekend. We also have a mowing rig for it. We have all the bicycles in there, ladders, some firewood, toys. Lots of hopes. Toys, toys, toys. Um, here's Jeremiah's fort, Jeremiah's and Mikey's fort. It also has uh, roofing shingles on it. Keep it nice and dry. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to have them show that off, but they're engrossed uh, with the Grinch who stole Christmas. So, uh, shall we meander back to the house? There's a nice view of Kearsarge, Mark. You want to get that? How's the camera doing, Mark? Oh, fine. Should we uh, call that it? Is there anything else we want to do? Well, we want to do the song and maybe we could just um, fire it up one more time inside just while we okay. all have a, um, a Christmas hot toddy. Okay. <laughs> okay? So we walk together. <laughs> you look very Christmas. The boots are, are from you and I love them. They keep my feet very warm. I still, I still have the wonderful L.L. Bean boots that you gave me several years ago. rehabilitating it has yet to be in the water since we acquired it. That's because we need to have um, the rigging. That's the only thing missing really. And notice Mark's firewood. We have vast quantities of firewood. Here's the reason we need new rigging. Here's part of the reason. All the uh, boom and mass and such are all bent up. Somebody wrapped the entire thing around a rock, is what we suspect. Probably some rammy teenage kid. So, shall we go in, Bernie? Okay. Yeah, we'll go in. What? Because we just went on our tour. We it. Where did he go? Just around the garage. I'm going to go to the... Jeremiah, why don't we show Grandma Grandpa how you can do a flip? Do it here. Why? Just because we're out here. Okay. Okay, wait a minute. Are we going, Mark? Okay. Um, well, we're going to sing uh, 
a Jingle Bell song, okay? You guys Ready? gonna sing too, okay? Yeah, right? Good night. 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 Good night.